How's it going, fam? It's Erica with Not Your Average EDC. We survived the blizzard. It is over. It is like 50 degrees outside, wet, rainy, sunny. We made it through. God blessed us yet again, and we are alive and well. Power is back. Life is good. Um, I figured because we are in such a great mood... I would show you guys what I have in my pockets today. Not a full pocket dump because a lot of it's the same, but I have a couple of little things here that I wanted to show you guys and just chat a little bit. Um, I have today off from work. Thursday is one of my days off, so I figured I would make you guys a video. But let's look at some stuff that I have in the pockets today. I made a video about traditional knives last night. Got a lot of good feedback for the most part. There was one guy that just continuously is like, those knives are unsafe. I can't get with you on that. Which makes me want to just like... <sniffs> Cars are not unsafe. Pew pews are not unsafe. Knives are not unsafe. Non-locking knives are not unsafe. The user can be unsafe. Think about it that way, okay? We've got this small Texas Jack today in CV Steel from Case. Check this out. This is a nice one. Used it for the first time today, making some sausages. And it's starting to pick up a little bit of a patina there because of that CV steel. Really cool. I went over to Bass Pro Shops. Um, haven't been there in a long time and they have a good case selection and you're able to look at, look at them and kind of pick through and... I met this guy, Wyatt, there. That's really cool. Shout out to you, Wyatt, if you're watching the channel. He said he's going to watch the videos. But, uh, yeah, I ended up snagging this because it was in CV Steel. It already has lint in it. There we go. It was in CV Steel. It had decent fit and finish, so we snagged this real quick. But just a two-blade case knife called the Small Texas Jack. It's kind of got, like, a gun stock stockman type body but it only has two blades so it's got the small pen blade which is a little wider i feel like or higher than a typical pen blade so that's kind of neat it's in this beautiful jig bone and it's also got this you know kind of long clip point blade that's pretty typical on a lot of trapper knives and traditionals i loved using this when i was making the sausage because it has a good amount of reach so I was able to flip them around in the pan and cut them up and um, had plenty of reach with that blade there. Pinched bolsters, nice jigged covers, and this one surprisingly is pretty pretty good fit and finish wise. I mean it's got just a hairline gap right there in that top spring but that's pretty typical. It doesn't really affect anything. Otherwise smooth transitions from the bolsters to the covers pins are all flush our little emblem there is nice and neatly inlaid i mean i really scored on this one guys and you know case is moving over to 1095 they're kind of moving away from the chrome vanadium steel from what i've heard so i was excited to pick this one up it was the last one in stock in cv steel not like the cv and the 1095 are going to be a hell of a lot different but just a little I don't know. It's nostalgic. I, I've i been needing one of these two-blade little jack knives. Uh, it's just a nice little a nice little knife and not expensive at all. So that was today's find. What else do we have? We have the Victorinox Pioneer. And this is the one that I ended up modding. So it had a can opener. And I ended up dremeling the can opener off, like the blade of the can opener, and I just made this small inline screwdriver. You could use this as a Phillips, a flathead, but it's pretty small, and you can fit into a lot of tight places with it. At some point, I may kind of grind this nub off more, but it hasn't affected the use so far. So I have that cool little screwdriver on there because I just don't need a can opener like every day of my life. But we do have the bottle opener, wire bender, flathead, light pry tool there, 
a really nice main blade. Love that. And a very nice inline reamer, leather punch all, whatever you would like to call it. I like this configuration more than the T-handle one on the plastic models. I don't care that it doesn't have the, the threading hole for thread. I, I don't think I'll ever need that, but there's the Swiss Army knife today. I love this thing. And of course we have a sod buster because you can't go wrong with one of those. So it's in this really nice little hitch and timber pioneer slip. And we've got a beautiful case sod buster junior riding in that. This one's in true sharp. So this is stainless steel, but it actually kind of matches my, my little Texas Jack there. But yeah, those are some fun things in the pockets today. I have something very exciting coming in tonight. I will go pick that up from my friend's house when it gets here, but you guys are going to be very surprised when you see what is coming in today as a gift. I could not believe when I found out that I was getting it. Sweetheart, please. I swear, every time I'm recording, Zaya just like stands there and itches and shakes herself. Oh, little nuggets asleep. That's good. Um... So yeah, that was, that was today's find. Really glad that we made it through the storm. It was so cold in here last night. It was like 30 degrees in this camper and we had to put my door, we had to shut my door. Sweetheart, stop. That's enough. Okay. That's enough. <laughs> we had to shut my door, put all my dogs in there in my bedroom and then bring Indy and Romy in here, close them on this side, and every time I had to let my dogs out, Nicole had to take Indy and Romy to her camper, put them in that one, which was like 20 degrees, I had to let all my dogs out, bring them back in, close them back in the bedroom, then bring Indy and Romy back in here, because Indy will attack my dogs if he sees them. Uh, one in particular, there's one of my dogs, he does not like canes, so it was just like musical dogs juggling dogs all day in a 30 degree camper and I literally cried when I heard my heat come back on when the power came back on I literally started crying and I was screaming I was like thank you god oh, it had been two days we were frigid so luckily we have power back all is good this is today's celebratory night sweetheart the dogs are ridiculous. It's so funny to me how they know when I put the camera on and they will do this. They will just do things that they know they're not supposed to do. But anyway, this is today's celebratory knife. Really, really enjoying these. Uh, like I said, these are not unsafe. Okay, sweetheart, sweetheart. That is definitely an... My videos are a nightmare. I swear. Okay, all done. Look, I'm just gonna hold her here so that she stops. <laughs> um, sorry that my videos are a nightmare. Also, yeah, these are not unsafe knives, guys. I, please, uh, you know who you are that keeps trolling the channel and saying that these are unsafe. There's no point in saying that because number one, it's not true, but number two, you're spreading false information. Saying that this is an unsafe knife is really not the brightest idea because it, it's it is safe uh it would be user error if you did something dumb with this and it folded on you while you were using it but if you think about it you should be cutting away from yourself which is putting pressure backwards on this knife right back toward the spring and it cannot close backwards and it cannot close on your fingers if you're pushing it backwards so just you know who you are frank stop Stop saying that things are unsafe when they're not. That would be user error. And it's it's really annoying to be pushing people away from these these knives and telling them not to use them because they're unsafe when that's not true. So um, you would have to have a peanut for a brain to use this in an unsafe manner. They are very old school knives. They're traditional. They're light use. You're not supposed to be using these for a screwdriver. Granted, our grandfathers did. I know that, but you shouldn't be using this as a pry bar or a screwdriver because then, yes, it could fold on you. But if you are cutting an apple or sausage or a box, these are perfectly fine for that. 
and more than safe. Look at that beautiful patina starting up. I think it's more beautiful on this side. It got real splotchy on that side, cutting that up. So yeah, just a just a dang pleasure to use. I love this simple design. I love these simple designs, man. I am having such a blast testing these. Just constantly being reminded that life can be simple if you just slow down when you can. I can't very often. My life is a shit show in a circus 24-7. But for five minutes a day, I do try to slow down and just enjoy something simple and easy like this. And it makes my day so much better. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Just a quick little pocket dump and checking out that new Texas Jack. But I'll see you guys on the next video. I love you all so much. Go use your shit. Please remember to check out Georgia Adventurer and Richter Knives. And I will see you on the next video. Love you all.